Hello everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario World. Today we're taking on Star Road, the thing that I didn't really talk to you guys about. Basically, this is an area where you can warp to other levels, but you have to beat other levels in order to warp to other levels. Yo dog, I heard you had levels in your level, so I had more levels. So you can enjoy the levels, levels. Exactly. Basically, the best way to put it is these star roads, they're really not that special, they won't get you anything, but you can also find different colored Yoshis in them. Like a red Yoshi, a blue Yoshi, a yellow Yoshi, and there's two more, but I can't remember what they are. Mm -hmm. Well, no, that's, those are only the three. You get blue, um, yellow, and red. No, there's five things. There's, 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 there's no, there isn't. Yoshis. There's only three colored Yoshis. You have green, which is normal. You have blue, which has the ability to give you flight, whatever shell you eat. You have um, red, that has the ability, whatever shell you eat, it breathes fire. And yellow, whatever shell it eats, it has the ability to do, like, the um, power stomp. This kind of retarded you. Yes. One sec, I have to change something. Urgh. Do not disturb. Okay, there we go. So, that way I don't hear any messages. But it, it's just, yeah, I know it sounds retarded, but that's what they have for you. Because, I mean, really, there, there isn't any other abilities, like, what the hell would green do? You need a green Yoshi. Can green get any of the abilities? Like, um, no, you can get, them. um, wait. I think Yoshi can't get any of the abilities because it's a Yoshi. Like, it's a regular Yoshi. Yoshi. If it eats a yellow shell, or like if it eats a red shell, it can breathe fire. If it eats a blue shell, it can fly, or something like that. I think so. I Random one up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ah. But I haven't gone over the specifics. I know for one thing, you, you don't want Yoshi for the next stage in Star Road because you're gonna get a blue Yoshi, which is like 20 times better. I consider it to be the best Yoshi ever. Because no matter what shell you eat, it gains the ability of flight. They would say, fuck all our Yoshis. Oh no no, I played Yoshi Story. The best Yoshi is the black and white ones, because they can eat anything. Well, those ones are super hard to get. You know how hard it is to get the, get the uh, freaking um, black and white Yoshis? You have to find their eggs in special locations. Sometimes it's a bitch. Sometimes. But, uh, overall, Star Road isn't that bad. I've had- there's a lot worse levels that you have to deal with. Especially, there are some secret stages that apparently developers never expected you to get to, ever. Yeah, they still put them in. Yeah. Uh, and that's one of the levels you have to do later on. It's just like, some of them are, like, so ridiculous, like... I had to look up a tutorial for one of them, because I'm just like, how the fuck do you do this? Because you get to this point where you're at, like, basically a dead end. And I'm like, okay, how the fuck do you win this? I go, I told you the special stages suck, man. It was only one. And it was, like, the second to last one, because it isn't straightforward. Basically, you have to carry a spring throughout the entire level, like, halfway through the level, and use it on this pipe to jump up. I'm like, are you fucking serious? How the fuck were we supposed to figure that out? Why do you keep going back and finishing the levels regularly? Don't oh, to get all exits. Mm. Well, ladies, well, for the record, ladies and gentlemen, these special stages, the Star World stages and these special ones, they're completely optional. You don't have to do them if you don't want to. Yeah, um... If... You don't have to do them. I'm just showing off all the levels that I can with all exits. Oh god. Oh god. Fish. Uh, uh. Fish your sword. Oh, I hate these fish. I hate these f Fuck you guys. Fuck you. I'm fine. I'm f Ah, god damn it. Damn it. No, no, no. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay. Yeah, I got my stuff. I got my stuff. Just screw you, fish. I'm oh, fuck no. Okay, gotta get away. Gotta get away. <laughs> No! No! Don't rape me! I don't want it that way! Fuck. Oh, this is one to rat, man. Uh, 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 ah! Fuck! Uh, Fuck fish! On Mario Zero. Uh, I hate those stupid fish. Worst enemies in the game. They hate you too. Of course they do! 
Or to know anything about science? Natural selection? They're going to kill me. It's their job. They must survive. Alright, so the next Star Road is... Uh, Star Road 3. It's well, yeah. Well, this one is the most easiest. Watch. Woo, we're done. <laughs> we're done! It's also where you can get the yellow Yoshi egg, in case people didn't notice. Mm -hmm. Well, there's two levels that you can get the yellow Yoshi egg and the red Yoshi egg. There's only one level to get the blue Yoshi egg. Coincidence? I think not. Blue Yoshi egg. Top gear, man. Top gear. Best Yoshi ever. Come on. Stomp on your head. Oh, whoop. That didn't go well. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, come on, Yoshi. Let's complete the level again. You have to kill him using the, um, uh, oh, never mind. I'm using this. You have to throw the things out, remember? Yeah, I know. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm like, okay, Yoshi. Yoshi. I Let me abandon you, damn it. There we go. There we go. How are you gonna get up there? Yoshi! Oh, you're just gonna screw Yoshi then? <laughs> yeah. Hey, thanks for helping me and everything, Yoshi. Now piss off. <laughs> exactly. It's just like, oh, Yoshi, you were a great help. Uh, see you in hell! Honestly, it's... These levels aren't that hard. It's just dependent on what you do. Star World 4... Uh, this one I probably consider to be one of the most difficult in the, the entire game. Just because it's kind of a platform bitch sometimes other than that. Like that! Why did I turn? <laughs> Why did I turn? Why did I turn? Why did I turn? Why did I turn? I don't know! <laughs> Why is it burned? Why is it burned? What? Why is it burned? Why is it burned? Why is it burned? I don't know! I don't know! Ah, uh, YouTube poops. Ah, uh, Nicolas Cage. <laughs> this looks. Nicolas Cage is a racist woman beater. <laughs> oh, that's just. I, I haven't seen either. That's also just like, wait a minute. I know where he's going with this. And now we ignore the whole stage, or do we shoot that one? Well, we don't really uh, need it for the entire stage. It's just one to pick it up because it just gives you flight ability. So, at this point, here's the mechanic of Yoshi that you can use. Whatever shell that you eat, depending on its color, will give you different abilities. For example, red Yoshis, if they eat any shell, they spit fire. But if they eat a... if any Yoshi eats a red shell in particular, when they breathe out, it creates fire! If you eat a blue shell, it will give you wings and you can fly! I'm like, okay, I felt bad for the last one, I'm like, okay, Yoshi, you're coming with me. I'm not betraying Red Yoshi! Red's too cool for that. <laughs> no. Though, ironically, I drop him off and go get the blue Yoshi again. Because you do need the blue Yoshi in order to get the secret exit in this level. I don't know what happened to Red Yoshi there. He just probably didn't bother to pick him up. Mm. But, um, what was I trying to remember? Oh, yeah. Um, yellow shells have the ability to basically grant you the ability to do a ground pound stop, which makes uh, Yoshi meh. It doesn't really do much in terms of changes to gameplay for you. And if a Yoshi eats a multicolored shell, which is basically when those guys jump in the shell and it's spinning and it's invincible, Yoshi gains all three powers. He can fly, have to stomp, and when he spits it out, fire. Yep. Which is pretty abusive, except um, when you eat the shell, it's all over. So I'm getting a blue Yoshi so I can fly. Yay. Fly! Flight! What man has always dreamed of in Mario is always achieved. Hacks. Hacks! Hacks! See, the blue Yoshi, no matter what shell he eats, he's God. So I'm looking for a place to set down so I can pick up another uh, shell. 
Because, um, Yoshis, if they eat a shell, they have a time limit based on what items they eat. So I have to wait. Because I don't want Yoshi to lose his power up and then I fall into oblivion and be like, No! I'm dead! Eat it. Eat it! Eat it! Okay, bye Yoshi. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know, I had to pause there, I'm like, the fuck was that? That made no sense. And here it is. Now, honestly, to tell you, how the hell were we supposed to figure out that there was a secret there? You never were. Exactly. Well, now we know. It's just like, when I was a kid, I'd never expect that. It was actually my sister who showed me the secret levels off. So I'm just like, she found it. And this was before the internet. So, I don't know how Everything she found it. Internet. She even showed me how to get the warp whistles in uh, Mario uh, 3. I didn't even know those existed. Like, you I beat the... You two warp whistles at the same time to go straight to level 8? No. I... I have the first time I ever played and beaten um, Super Mario Brothers 3. I did it just using um, like I just went through all eight worlds. Didn't even care. <laughs> Didn't even know a warp whistle existed. And my sister showed it to me, and she's just like, "Wait, you didn't know that the warp whistle existed?" She's like, "Oh." Okay, well, that's actually pretty impressive, because I usually beat the game with the Warp Whistles. Yeah, well, I found out how to get the, uh, like, a bunch of Warp, like, the Warp Whistles in, like, the first four levels. So, if, like, within, you know, a few minutes of playing World 1, you go straight to World 8. Yeah, it's just, like, that's strange. Now, I don't really show off the, um, power that Yoshi has here, because, honestly... Yellow Yoshi's kind of bland in my regard. It's kind of like thinking like, Yellow Yoshi, it's like Green Yoshi. We don't really care, so bleh. But it's better than having no Yoshi. Exactly. <laughs> and, and in case you people didn't notice, it, Star Road forms a star. Yeah, we kind of realized that we just never said so until now. Yeah, the, it just always makes that. So I'm using these warp points to go to different areas. So what I'm doing is, I'm going back to the ship so I can save. Because after you beat Star Road, there is no saves at all. So it's just like, eh, whatever. Let's go to the pirate ship now. Look, so much- there a pirate ship in Dinosaur Land? I don't know. Well, actually, it's a sunken ghost ship. It's full of dead baby Yoshis, isn't it? No, it's full of dead ghosts. And then we- wait, how the hell is a ghost dead? That's a good question. Hmm. I was gonna ghost- Well, if you go by the Aqua Teen Hunger Force logic, you just need a cell phone, and you can find the ghost of a ghost's ghost. <laughs> oh god, oh no! No! Shit! Shit! Yoshi! Come back! I need- uh... Now I remember this stage. Yoshi suck here. They do. They do. <sighs> do you know what's better than a ship full of dead than a ship full of dead ghosts? What? A ship full of dead baby Yoshi. Uh, that is your joke of the LP. Yep. I'm the dead baby Yoshi joke. People can make dead baby jokes, they can make dead baby Yoshi jokes. <laughs> We're out in public. You know what's better than this movie? What? Dead baby Yoshi. Oh god damn it! I thought we went over that when the LP ended. Nope. If I ever said anything like that, they'd look at me and just be like, what the fuck, man? Oh, it, it would be an inside joke that you, only me and you would understand. That boo just ran into your light of Exactly! Night. I was just about to say, that boo is very... Special education right now. He's just like, oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Flo oh, now I'm looking at you. Damn it. Funny thing is, if look over and go, crap, he's looking at a stand still. Stand still. He's got a nice mustache. Also, this. Why is this here? This, this is so weird. It's so strange. Wait, M mushroom? The fuck? This is some cr th th to me, I think this is like some kind of damn acid trip right now. It's just like, the fuck's going on? <laughs> I 
been on. I've had too many shrooms, man. They're starting to get to me. Yeah. Ooh, look at all the coins. <laughs> but we're almost done anyways. Woo! Boop. All right, and that's the end, guys. The only level that doesn't actually have a check or a goal marker. Yeah. So next time, let's go fight Bowser. Oh, wait, this is the end? Yeah, this is the end of the uh, part. Oh, okay. Bye.